What's up guys, welcome to your 39th Java tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be talking about overloaded constructors. Now you guys already know what a constructor is, it's pretty much a method with the same name as that class and whenever you create an object it automatically calls that method or does that method. So I told you guys how to build a constructor and I told you guys that you can build only one constructor with the same name as the class but I didn't tell you guys that you can build multiple constructors and depending how many arguments you have it picks what constructor to use for example if you called that object with one argument it would have a constructor for that if you called that um, object with three arguments it would have a constructor that took three arguments so let's go ahead and do this right now so we first need our three variables private int our and then we need that same thing uh, let me put a semicolon instead of colon we need that same um, variable with minute and second minutes and second now let's go ahead and build our first constructor and we do this by putting public tuna since tuna is the name of the class and I'm not gonna have any arguments for this one we're gonna do one with zero arguments one two and three so when you put one with zero arguments what we want to do is eventually we want to give it three arguments so what we do is put this keyword and what this does was is pretty much invoke the constructor again but give it three arguments this time using zero zero and zero so now we need to build another constructor so public actually we can probably just copy this copy we're lazy and paste public tuna but instead of zero arguments this one if they pass in one argument what are we gonna do well if they pass in one number then let's just assume it's the hour so we put this hour so if they passed in um, object five it's gonna be five o'clock then zero zero so now let's build another one and this one's gonna have two arguments this one's gonna have an hour and a minute so int hour and int minute right there so now what we want to do is invoke hour and minute and again what this is going to do is call this constructor again but pass it three arguments right here so now I've seen alright if we call this constructor again it's going to look through this one see where there's three arguments look through this one see where there's three arguments and look through this one see where there's three arguments and that's why I'm getting an X right here it says the constructor tuna it, it, it is not defined because we keep calling a constructor with three arguments but we didn't build one yet so let's go ahead and build one right now let's go ahead and put public tuna and I could have copied that but int hour int minute int second and if you watch all of my X's just disappeared so you see they're now up and then once we finally build one it disappears so now that we have a constructor with three arguments we can go ahead and build something what it does in fact I'm gonna build another I'm gonna have it call another method right here that sets the time to hour minutes and seconds and we're actually gonna be building this in the next tutorial actually we can probably build it right now we have enough time but let me explain to you first what this one does if a user was to create an object with zero arguments it would give it three arguments by default so it can go down here to this constructor if a user was to enter an object with two arguments it would go to this one it would use the first number is the hour the second one is minute and the third one is zero and then it would call this constructor again with three arguments and the only one with three arguments is this in hour in minute is second and then what this constructor does is set the time in a set time method and you're saying alright where the F is that method well we're gonna build it right now so take it easy let's go public void set time and as the arguments again what we want to do is take three parameters in H int M for minute and int S for seconds now in the body let me scroll up a little bit there we go not bad in the body what do we want to have to set the time well actually we're going to be building three 
um, methods for this as well and I know it gets confusing but set hour and this is going to take an hour set minute and this is going to take a minute and set a uh, second and this is going to take a second parameter and now once you close this it says um, the method set minute is undefined and we're actually going to build three I mean let's see six more methods I think um, we're going to build methods for setting each of the times and why do we need a new method for set hour a new method for set minute and set second well we can't just have any hour they type in um, we need to build a method for it like last time where we set the hour we had to check if it was between 0 and 23 or 24 and set minute we need to make sure this is between 0 and 60 and also for set seconds and we're also going to make make another method for get method I mean uh, not get method for get hour get minute and get seconds and that's just going to return everything but we're going to be doing that next tutorial but if you don't still don't know why um, I'm having se separate methods for these, it's so only these methods can access the hour. And down here, as I said in the last time, we don't want any other class to have access to this information right here. So that's why we need to build a separate set and get methods for each hour and um, like hour, minute, and second. But anyways, that was supposed to be for next tutorial. That was just a little jump ahead. The meat of this tutorial that I want to tell you is right here. Um, let's see. Yep. These are all constructors right here. One with zero arguments, one with one, two, and three. And I just want to tell you that you can build different constructors depending on how many arguments you have. That way, um, you don't really need the user to enter one specific set of information. It varies, and then depending on how much information they entered, it does a certain task so um, if you don't understand this I promise in the next um, either one or two tutorials this will make all sense once we finally build our program and you can see what's going on but thank you guys for watching make sure to write this code right now and again like I said by the end of these tutorials you're gonna understand why we did it and how this all works but for now thank you guys for watching my tutorial on overload constructors don't forget to subscribe to my channel it is the best channel ever Again, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.